What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today we're just outside of our locals right over there Untouchables and that's because we're doing another locals vlog in today's video. Now last week I actually ended up playing here and came 4-0 first place with Trap Trick but I actually didn't vlog that event because I had vlogged earlier in the day and I was really tired but in today's video we're playing Trap Trick again and so we're gonna get that vlog and hopefully we can come first place again with the deck. I think this deck's insane and I'm really excited to be playing it today. Now, if you guys do enjoy these videos, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content just like this one. We upload five days a week here on the channel, but a full 10 videos. You get five long form videos, five short videos, tons of different kinds of content. So make sure you guys subscribe to stay tuned into all of that. Now, without further ado, I think we got like five or 10 minutes before local starts. So I'm going to hop in there, show you guys a quick deck profile or a quick look through, and then we're going to get started with our round one. And I'm excited, so let's just get in there. All right, boys. So I'm switching up the list a little bit from our last build i'm just gonna give you guys a quick 30 second deck profile here so it's pretty much the same standard trap tricks lineup but we're deciding to play parallel exceed rather than fenrir today and i cut the trapped uh, tantalizing uh, tune like the draw card and that's just because okay so i'm gonna be honest with you i wanted to try this in the main deck so i cut the three trap tantalizing for this in the main deck i'm gonna find out how much i like it today um otherwise the deck is pretty much the same it's 40 cards on the dot the side deck over here just a bunch of going second cards of course to bake boards and then a bunch of going first card so that your opponent doesn't make any boards and when you're going into game three and whatnot and then the extra deck here is pretty good i'd say as well i wouldn't change anything up except this this i would probably change for an exiton knight but i think i sold my exiton knight or i traded it the other day so i couldn't find one so i just have this in here for now but uh we're playing two zeus today and that's because uh we don't want to lose to any cost to our players right so that's pretty much the deck i'm really excited so it's gonna be my field center for the day and then uh we'll see you guys when round one starts i guess but i'm excited because uh this deck's really fun i'm having so much fun with it and i'm gonna see if that draw power is gonna be good or not we'll find out guys i realized my store had an exiton so i'm gonna borrow it from my store so we're in our first round here and we end up playing the trap trick mirror match and he ends with just setting three cards we have the evenly match here breaks the board and then we're able to set up our own board the thing is i'm only going to be showing you guys game one over here because game two pretty much goes a very similar way you guys are going to see we're able to set up a board and then just out grind him here with the trap tricks holtea the stara effect the pengicula over here i also don't even know if i'm saying that name right but you guys are going to see we end up going into to access code here soon and then we end up ending on a zeus as well and then i pop his whole board and then we're able to just kind of go for game or set up for game i should say because then on our next turn we have game right over here so that was our game one all right so we just finished our round one we're currently 1-0 we ended up playing against a trap trick mirror match which i'm gonna be honest with you man the mirror match is so doomed like it's such a tough mirror match it literally just depends on who goes first because you're playing either reflegia control or you're playing time thief redo a control and that's that's kind of what it was i had reflegia luckily reflegia is just so powerful in that matchup and then uh yeah we ended up winning in three it was a really nice match and uh, i'm excited because trap trick looks like it's getting a little bit more popular at my locals maybe since i won at my locals with it because last time i was here there was no one on it so i'm expecting a lot of mirror matches today but you know honestly i'm excited i'm having fun with the deck it's been a long time since i've had fun with a new deck like this and trap tricks i feel like plays exactly like how i like to play decks i've always liked mid-range based decks and i feel like trap tricks now is even though it's a trap based deck it's still a mid-range based deck so i don't know i'm having a lot of fun but we're 1-0 let's see if we can go 4-0 on the day i'm excited so here in our round two we're going up against valence and i honestly have no idea what this deck does i'm just going to be able to set up my full combo here which is really nice i end on a time thief redoer with the whole tail under it which is really powerful and then from there i'm just gonna hope my opponent doesn't really do much and watch what happens right here Cyan effect targeting your Sarah. and then what does it do flip a coin if it's head negate it if it's tail half its attack so either negate the effect or half attack uh thinking actually i don't know what the rest of your deck does man <laughs> i don't know what to hit sure let's do, it. let's do it i don't i don't sure i could stop that i don't want to tails Okay, so, half huh? attack. Forever? Forever. Okay, so 400. Sure, bro, we're gambling today. So yeah, that kind of happened, and then the deck didn't really do much else. Time Thief Redoer here to spin back, and then we had our trap cards as well. And honestly, it was just enough for game, and he ended up scooping it up. So now we're moving on to game two. He goes first, and he gets to combo for days. I don't have a hand trap here. I think I actually have an imperm, but he puts a field spell on my side of the field, which means I can't actually activate the imperm, which is kind of cool in a way. So here he's just going to end up setting up his full board. Honestly, this board is a lot less powerful than I thought it would be. It's pretty much just a pop and a draw i think or something like that but we end up going dark hole break his whole board and then we're able to set up like a crazy combo here 
and I think we just win it here. I don't remember if we OTK him or if we just set up and do a bunch of damage for our next turn. Actually, I think we are able to OTK. Yeah, we are. So that's game. All right. So we just finished our round two and we're currently 2-0. We won our last round. We're up against Valence, which is funny because that means Valence must have won the round one, which is kind of crazy. But essentially, it was game two. I just broke his board. I had a dark hole and that deck apparently ends on nothing. I thought it was going to end on a lot because his he was going off, but then it didn't really end on anything. Oh my God, Dre. Hello. Hi. Um, okay, so yeah, I, I thought that board was going to go off because he was just going in. I had nothing to stop him. And then I literally just dark hold him and was able to OTK in game two. So that was funny. Game one, I just set up a, too much of a board. So yeah, I don't know. We're 2 0 right now. Um, I think we got two more rounds. Let's see if we can go 4 0 again with this deck. So round three over here, we're playing against Sword Soul. We end up winning the die roll, which is nice. Our hand isn't too great. We end on set three, which is not bad, honestly, especially with the Sarah. But he ends up having the evenly, which is absolutely insane. So here, I'm going to let him play a little bit. But then once I notice, it's just not good enough we're gonna scoop i don't like to waste a lot of time so moving into game two we open a little bit better of a hand and i kind of set up a similar board but with the reflesia and four set and i said hey i know i'm playing into evenly but i'm not gonna you know not set my hand and then let him do whatever he wants because all my traps are in my hand right so i said if you have it you have it but then here you guys are going to be able to see i just had way too much resources and uh, my friend mariano here actually kind of realizes it and he's like you know what let's not waste any more time because i'm going to be able to go for a game here anyway so he scoops it up and now we're moving into game three and in game three i opened absolutely poor here no hand traps even though i sided in like 15 go second cards i opened two trap trick trap hole nightmare i opened the pudica which is not bad but it wasn't a great hand overall and it's just impossible to play through a baron and a chi shout on top of that he had the imperm set which is just absolutely insane so i wasn't able to play through it i was trying my best honestly to bait out some negates but he was a very smart player he played it very well as well and so honestly you guys are going to see that he just puts up too much damage he just has too much on his board and we're unable to take game three here so we end up losing in three so we just finished our round three and unfortunately we couldn't win our round three we are now x1 so two and one on the day we still got one more round we can still go three and one it's not a big problem uh we're playing against mariano who's a sword soul player and sword soul is a really really good deck what's going on i didn't scrub out i'm three i'm two one you scrub out no i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm fine i'm fine i'm fine i just go three one for the rest of the day oh right, yeah we go three one it's easy so with that being said um yeah sword soul is a tough match matchup game three as you guys probably saw his board he like my hand was just so bad man my hand was so poor it was two trap trick trap hole nightmare pudica mantis and then i drew an ash return i can't remember what the fifth card was but i drew an ash return which is just absolutely horrible so yeah it was kind of unfortunate but he's a great player played really well i really tried to play around it in game three but then he had the imperm for my mantis and it was just way too much so uh we're x1 right now it's not a big problem we can still finish 3-1 on the day and i think that's still a really really good thing and i will say that the changes i've made in the deck adding evenly to the main deck has been pretty good for me i won't lie i didn't draw it there i wish i, wish I drew it there but uh it's been really good in my rounds one and round two so uh yeah i'm really happy with these changes so yeah i'll see you guys after round four i guess because we got one more round to go so we're in our round four here and i'm trying to win this round to go three and one on the day but man we lose the dice roll and i'm just gonna say this now spoiler alert we end up losing this game and we end up losing the round actually i will say this like if you guys see this is in 20 times speed and it still takes him a while to do his combo this entire combo going first took him 15 minutes i think it was like 14 minutes and a little bit which is just absolutely insane because i'm like man he's the kind of guy where he was very nice don't get me wrong but he just sat there and chatted with friends the whole time and i don't want to be that guy at locals who's kind of like hey can you hurry up can you play faster right it was literally 15 minutes for this turn one just to get evenly matched right which is just absolutely insane here now i'm about to end my board with a pretty powerful board i would say however the thing is with despia man is just they resource like crazy i mean so does trap trick but that deck just resource is so crazy here so this entire first game took i think 35 minutes and maybe it was my fault for playing it out i thought i set up a pretty good board but he's just able to continue playing and on top of that i'm gonna be honest with you he called the judge like four times for like ruling questions which i'm like okay this is just taking more time and more time and i was just thinking i'm like listen if he's gonna continue playing time uh, i'm i'm okay with that because i'm just gonna keep you know trying to out resource him and you know try to put myself as, as much advantage as possible but you guys are gonna see here like he just gets way too much advantage and i'm actually not able to play around it he's able to break my board and we're just top decking and we up losing game one and then the entire round so we ended the day 2-2 i'm gonna be honest not the results we were hoping for it was a little bit unfortunate that last round you know sometimes you get people like that like he was a nice guy but you know those kind of things where 
you're chatting with your friends, you're hanging out, you're taking 15 minutes to do your turn one board. And then, you know, it, it just kind of sucks. You know, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. It does kind of suck because, you know, I'm trying to be a nice guy. I don't want to be that guy at locals who's like, Hey, hurry up. Can you play faster? But you know, sometimes there are days like these where I look back at it and I'm like, I should have maybe been that guy. I should have just told him like, Hey, can we just hurry it up? Because 15 minutes for your turn one is just absolutely ridiculous in my opinion. But uh, with that being said, before we let you go, I did get some really cool pickups. At least that's a nice thing on the day. And I really want to show it to you guys. So let me show you guys that real quick. All right. So I really want to show you guys some of the pickups for today. Here's my OTS pack that we didn't open. We're going to save that for a video later. But anyways, here are some of the really cool pickups for today. Ignore these OTS commons. We don't need this. Uh, I picked up some Book of Eclipses here, and this is just for, you know, decks later on. But some of the cool stuff is now coming up. So first things first is these two Supreme Arcanite Magicians Ultimate Rare First Edition. Absolutely stunning card. I love this card so much. And I didn't need them, but uh, you know what? I saw them and I thought they looked cool. The condition is really nice on them as well. This makes a playset for me now. I had one before, but now I have a playset, which is absolutely beautiful. I'm really happy with these cards. I know they're just random ultis, but I'm just such a big fan of ultis. Fun fact, this was one of my favorite cards when I first started playing the game. I uh, When I got back back into the game, I should say. I saw this card and I was like, whoa, the artwork is insane. Unfortunately, it's not as good as the artwork is, but I don't know, I like them. Then we picked up an Obelisk and a Slifer. Premium gold, I really like this gold secret rarity on them, so that's really nice. Picked up a Gallon Grand, I just wanted an extra. We picked up an LOB first edition Gaia the Dragon Champion. It's absolutely, okay, I'm gonna be honest with you, actually, I was gonna say it's absolutely stunning because it is a very stunning card, but uh, it's not in the greatest condition. It is Asian English as well. You guys can see some of the damage there. LOB first edition, even though it's Asian English, is absolutely stunning. I think this card is absolutely insane. Now, I just showed you guys some of the really cool things that we picked up here, but I will say there's something special about these cards. So let's start things off with the blue eyes right here. I don't know if you guys can notice this, but these are faded, but they're not just any faded blue eyes. These are what's known in the misprint community, if anyone doesn't know, as missing magenta or magenta missing. And that pretty much means that when they were printed, they didn't have that magenta coloring. So it has, it looks like whiter and yellower. It's not like faded as if you were putting it in the sun, because if you put it in the sun what happens is they go like white completely you see how this is like yellow so it being yellow just kind of signifies that it's a um, magenta missing or missing magenta i can't remember how they say it but a bunch of these cards here are missing the magenta so lord of d here you guys can see is more yellow the b skull dragon here is a little bit faded as well it's a little bit harder to tell in the fusion monster of course because obviously it's, it's not just a white card right it's not a normal monster but you guys can tell and you guys might be able to tell if i had one with me a regular one you guys would definitely be able to see it but yeah, all of these cards right here, the red eyes from SDJ, we got the relinquished here, the flute, as well as the call of the haunted, all faded cards, all original print, not first edition, but just absolutely insane cards. This blue eyes is so sick as well. So that's my pickups for today. Some really cool pickups. I know I kind of went in depth. Probably my favorite things are these three though. I'll say these three are definitely my favorites for the day. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. I showed you guys the pickups. We went 2-2, kind of unfortunate, just because I know how powerful this deck is. I don't think I played it incorrectly today. I will say one thing about the deck, and if you guys have watched my last deck profile where I came first place, it does make a big difference. And the really big difference in this deck is the Fenrir. I was playing Fenrir in the last one, and people were always like, why aren't you on Parallel Exceed? Why are you on Fenrir instead? And Fenrir just solves all the problems this deck has going second. If you guys saw game one against the Branded Player, I'm just going to use that as a perfect example. Had I been going second and I had a Fenrir in my hand, let's say, and then I go evenly match, break his board, summon the Fenrir, it solves all my issues. Now, in my first two rounds, you know, Parallel Exceed is cool, but I never really felt like Parallel Exceed won me any games today. And I think Fenrir just won me games single handedly at my last locals. Also, I was playing cash at the last locals. This locals wasn't any cash. So, a deck that's kind of built to beat cash and you don't see cash also kind of sucks as well. But I don't know. I don't want to make excuses. We went 2 2 today. It's fine i went 4-0 last time so it makes me feel a little bit better it just makes me feel like we got unlucky in our last two rounds round three was obviously against a good friend mariano who's a great player and uh that was a great back and forth between me and him so i'm not mad about it i don't want to keep you guys for too long i know i've just been ranting but thank you guys all for watching i appreciate every single one of you make sure to like and subscribe if you guys haven't already and i'm just gonna you know go and fix this deck and maybe i don't know we're going to see what happens. I feel like, I don't know. You guys will see something in another vlog because I'm always playing different decks in these vlogs. I really do hope you guys enjoy these vlogs. I like taking you guys with me. Thank you guys all for watching. With that, Spanko, signing out. Peace.